Hey guys, it's me and Adil from Auto Repair Champs. Today we've got a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. And I'm gonna show you an interesting one here. This customer came in, uh, let's head down here. This customer came in here and uh, indicated that the van was overheating, okay? And after we looked at the car underneath, there is about down in that area there is an inlet or whatever you want to call it inlet outlet pipe that was rusty and it was leaking antifreeze now that caused the fan to stay on on a high speed more than it's supposed to and that burnt this relay here now this was a challenge for us to find it took us some time to find that this relay was bad We've tested the fuses, as you guys can see. We've tested the fan manually, running some uh, positive and negative from the battery direct to the uh, fan it was working. We've sent the command to start the fan on an on, off position. It worked until we decided to look into this relay. And after replacing this relay, as you guys can see, the temperature here is 217. And it's supposed to, right, right around 220 or 217, 219, it's supposed to start, and there you go, it just kicked in. So the fan actually finally start working. This has been a challenge for a day and a half um, of just running random things from fuses, wires, connection, fans, electrical cables, wires. We've tested so many things until we decided to look into this fan we, uh, fan relay. After replacing this fan relay, now notice there's one piece that I wanna add that's really important for anyone that's having this issue or similar, is whenever you have your AC on, that forces the AC fan uh, or the radiator fan to kick in. So a lot of people may not notice that their fan is not working because their AC has been on most of the times and that forces the fan to kick in. Once the fan kicks in on the second speed or high speed, it works fine and vehicle does not overheat. But if you turn your AC, uh, AC off, then this fan does not start and the vehicle overheats and this start boiling. Now, after, again, once after replacing this, at just roughly around 220 Fahrenheit degrees, that's when the fan is gonna kick in. Again, this is 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan, Chrysler Town & Country. A lot of these engines that are 3.3s, I'm not sure about the 3.8s, if they are similar, or the 4.0, but I just wanted to mention and show this on the video for people that are having issues or may have issues that are similar. Thanks for watching. Peace, like and subscribe. Again, this is Nabil from Auto Repair Champs.